The Song of Solomon Solomon's Love for the Shulamite Girl The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's song, the Shulamite, let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is better than wine, because of the fragrance of your good ointments, your name is ointment poured forth, therefore the virgins love you, draw me away, the daughters of Jerusalem, we will run after you, the Shulamite, the king has brought me into his chambers, the daughters of Jerusalem, we will be glad to rejoice in you, we will remember your love more than wine the Shulamite. Rightly do they love you. I am dark, but lovely, O daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kedar, like the curtains of Solomon. Do not look upon me because I am dark, because the sun has tanned me. My mother's sons were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard I have not kept. To her beloved, tell me, O oh, you whom I love, where you feed your flock, where you make it rest at noon. For why should I be one who veils herself but the flax fox of your companions, the beloved? If you do not know, O oh, fairest among women, follow in the footsteps of the flock and feed your little goats beside the shepherd tents. I have compared you, my love, to the filly among Pharaoh's chariots. Your cheeks are lovely with ornaments, your neck with chains of gold, the daughters of Jerusalem. We will make you ornaments of gold with studs of silver, the Shulamite. While the king is at his table, my spinard sends forth its fragrance. A bundle of myrrh is my beloved to me that lies all night between my breasts. My beloved is to me a cluster of henna blossoms in the vineyards of Edon Ginai, the beloved. Behold, you are fair, my love. Behold, you are fair. You have dove's eyes, the Shulamite. Behold, you are handsome, my beloved. Yes, pleasant. Also, our bed is green. The beams of our houses are cedar, and our rafters of fir. Song of Solomon 2 I am a rose of Sharon, a lily of the valleys. He, as a lily among brambles, so is my love among the long young women. She, as an apple tree among the trees of the forest, so is my beloved among the young men. With great delight, I sat in his shadow, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. Sustained me with raisins, refreshed me with apples, for I'm sick with love. His left hand is other under my head, and his right hand embraces me. I adjure you, O daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles or the doves in the field, that you not stir up or awaken love until it pleases. The bride adores her beloved. The voice of my beloved, behold, he comes, leaping over the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Behold, there he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, looking through the lattice. My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my beautiful one, and come away. For behold, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, and the time of singing has come. And the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. And the fig tree ripens as it figs, and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my beautiful one, and come away. Oh, my dove! In the clefts of the rock, in the crannies of the cliff, let me see your face, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet, your face is lovely. Catch the foxes for us, the little foxes, the spoil of the vineyards, for our vineyards are in blossom. My beloved is mine, and I am his. He gazes upon the lilies in the day he breathes, the shadows flee, 
sure and my beloved be like a gazelle or a young stag on the cleft mountains. Song of Solomon, chapter 2. Song of Solomon, chapter 3. The Bride's Dream. On my bed by night, I sought him who my soul loves. I sought him, but found him not. I rise now and go into the city, into the streets and into the squares. I will seek him who my soul loves. I sought him, but found him not. The watchmen found me, and they went about the city. Have you seen him who my soul loves? Scarcely I had passed them. When I found him for whom my soul loves, I held him, and I would not let him go until I had brought him into my mother's house and into the chamber of her who conceived me. I adjure you, O daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles or the does of the field, that you do not stir up or wake in love until it pleases. Solomon arrives for the wedding. Verse 6. What is that coming from the wilderness like columns of smoke, perfumed with myrrh and frankincense, with all that fragrant powders of the merchant? Behold, it is a litter of Solomon. Around are sixty mighty men, some with mighty men of Israel, all of them wearing swords, an expert at war, each with his sword at his thigh against the terror of my night. King Solomon made himself a carriage from the wood of Lebanon. He made posts of silver, its backs of gold, its seat of purple, its interior was laid with love by the daughters of Jerusalem. Go out, O daughters of Jerusalem, and look up upon King Solomon with the crown which is his mother crowned him on the day of his wedding and the day of the gladness in his heart. Thank <laughs> you.